Hi everyone and welcome to a new HOWS webinar. I'm Santi and I'm the Communications Manager here at HOWS. In today's session, we wanted to talk about budget and share some strategies for ensuring clients feel confident about your fees. Clients often don't have experience with renovation costs. According to the HOWS and HOME survey, 77% of homeowners said they had a budget in mind when planning their project, but nearly 50% go over budget. Consider these recommendations from industry leaders to help reframe your clients' expectations. It's fulfilling to earn a living doing what you love in an industry you're passionate about. So it's important to price your services accurately to meet your customers' budgets while generating a reasonable profit. Determining how you price can be a challenge, but finding a system that works for you is essential to long-term success. A client's budget and their perception of the value your firm offers can have a huge impact on whether they hire you and can affect your professional relationship as the project progresses. That's why it pays to follow these simple steps to make sure your customers feel confident they're getting value for money. So in today's webinar, we'll cover the following topics. How to create a budget, how to choose the right business model for your company, how to track time effectively, and how to optimize your pricing structure. At the end of this session, we'll give you a free worksheet to download that will help you generate more revenue while also fully meeting your clients' needs. Creating a fair pricing structure. Clients are often unsure about whether to go with a lower cost service or one that's at the top of their budget. Some guidance from you can make them feel more confident about their decision. Studies show that homeowners appreciate transparency when it comes to estimated project costs. Rather than withholding your pricing, consider quoting a preliminary price with an exploratory question for more dialogue. A spokesman for the Appraisal Institute recommends creating a budget based on the approximate value of each room as a percentage of the overall value of the home. This is especially helpful since it's a neutral way to discuss the budget, particularly if a homeowner presents a budget that you know is insufficient for their wish list. When it comes time to provide a proposal or estimate, being thorough can provide the context and transparency that potential clients seek. Using HousePro's proposal or estimation tool can make it easy to quickly create these documents for potential clients. Create your first estimate in minutes and start winning more jobs. Add professional branding in a few clicks and send your estimate for client approval on mobile or desktop. Show your clients the distribution of costs. It will help them understand what's driving the project costs to help them make educated decisions about where there's an opportunity to make adjustments to spending. Also, an important thing to remember is that quality is key. Clients are often unsure about whether to go with a lower cost service or one that's at the top of their budget. Some guidance from you can make them feel much more comfortable about their decision. I explain what they get for my time, essentially how I save them money in the long run and help to prevent them from making costly mistakes, said interior designer Natasha Burton of MB Interiors in the UK. I make them aware that quality does come at a price, that it's a false economy to go in cheap. I also explain that from past experience, going cheap can cost more overall as you have to replace items sooner. It's part of my core values and that's what I try to convey to my clients. Decide on your business model. Whether you choose a fixed or hourly fee strategy, it's important to be consistent. Any changes to this could reduce your client's confidence. This is one of the most common questions businesses face whether they are just starting out or facing changes in their costs. While there's no easy answer, doing a few easy but key calculations can help you begin to estimate how much you need to make in order to sustain your business and earn a reasonable level of income. The fixed rate strategy is quite straightforward. A fixed price strategy means you set a price and keep it constant for an extended period of time. This strategy contrasts a dynamic pricing model where prices fluctuate over time or sale discounts routinely occur. Charging by the hour is a common pricing strategy. As you'd expect, it's trading your time for money. If you charge an hourly rate of $100 per hour and you work 15 hours on a project, your client would pay $1,500. So that's the hourly billable rate equaling profit plus owner salary plus overhead and job costs divided by the hours worked. 
Gemma Hill of Bayswater Interior says her firm uses an hourly pricing structure as they feel it's fair for both parties. She says, clients only pay for what we've provided. In the past, we've had projects where clients have increased the scope of our work or changed their minds unexpectedly midway through the process and expected us to start again to incorporate their new ideas, which ended up costing us money in lost hours. This way, we're invoicing for work completed and aren't out of pocket, and this is clear and fair to the client throughout. Caroline, another professional, on the other hand, prefers a fixed pricing structure. She says, when we put together our fee proposal, we estimate the amount of time we'll spend on a project using similar jobs as a benchmark. Once we've given our fee proposal, our fee doesn't change unless the scope of work changes or there are unforeseen circumstances. We would then discuss this with our client and adjust the fee if necessary. Not all projects are equal and you can charge a premium for taking on work that others can't or won't. Decide how much profit you want to earn to make it worth your time to do the project. Rusty Borders of KOH Construction says, the difficulty, complexity and time required for each job will determine the profit margin. For example, a simple exterior paint of a home should yield a 10% profit. A room extension on a hillside with rocks to move, electrical and water lines in the way and many more details will demand a 30% profit. Because you'll spend a lot more time and the risk is greater. When you spend your time on a higher risk project, you should get a higher return. Track your time. The most accurate way to illustrate a fair pricing strategy is by tracking your schedule. This works for both hourly and fixed models, as it can be done ahead of time or during the project. We use our diary to schedule when we'll be spending time on which projects, Caroline says. The schedule helps to inform the fixed price her firm provides ahead of project commencement and is a clear way of conveying the thinking behind the fee structure. I use the house for a stopwatch and track my time for each project, Natasha says. This is a great way to see how long certain projects take. It also ensures I'm pricing correctly for similar future projects. What is the stopwatch house pro feature? The time and expense feature allows you to effortlessly log expenses, add time entries, invoice clients, and track team members' hours. HousePro has built-in time tracking and billing software that will streamline and revolutionize the way you work and ultimately increase the success and profitability of your business. With HousePro, you can track your time in two ways, with the stopwatch function or by adding a new time entry. Optimize your pricing structure. Everyone wants more revenue, but raising prices can turn off existing or potential customers. Here are five possibilities to increase revenue without simply charging more. There are different ways to increase your revenue throughout the project lifecycle. Cross-sell. Sell additional complementary products or services to existing customers that don't compete with your main offering. For example, a landscape architect could serve as a dealer for hot tubs to gain commission when clients want to incorporate that feature. Bundle with other pros. Combine your services with another provider. Team up with other designers and builders to sell your services together. You'll capture leads who are looking for one team to handle everything from start to finish. Bundle your offerings. To consider a client to take on a project with a larger scope, try offering them a discount compared to if they had handled the whole project in smaller phases. Upsell. Convince a client to upgrade to higher level of service. If their need would be best met by a larger scope, you can educate them on the benefits of taking on a bigger project or receiving more professional assistance. Add-on. Include a service that is related to what the customer is buying and amplifies the value of the project. Some add-ons could be photorealistic renderings or even detailed plans beyond the basic requirements for the project. Before wrapping up this webinar, I wanted to share with you a worksheet that we've built for you about pricing. Tiered pricing is a strategy that can help you generate more revenue while also fully meeting your client's needs. Tiered pricing works by replacing the one-size-fits-all proposal with multiple options. 
To create your tiers, begin by listing all of the services you could possibly offer, then group your services into three distinct levels. The highest price package should include everything you have to offer with the lesser packages including fewer services. Most people will choose the middle package because they do not want to select the least expensive option, but they may not feel ready for the most expensive option. However, the lower price package still needs to have value so you can still deliver exceptional results no matter which option they choose. If your business handles design and construction, you could offer tiers relating to handling multiple phases of the job. A different option is to sell based on levels of service and how much to help the client needs with the project. In this worksheet, we'll walk you through building your three tiers of service so you can implement this on your next proposal. To help you visualise, here's a sample of the tiers you can produce. The worksheet is linked in the landing page so you can download it and share around. And that's all for today's session. I hope you found it useful. We've linked all the relevant articles of the description of this video. If you have any questions, please contact us via support on the HousePro page. Thank you and see you on HousePro.